What the fuck is this? All right, welcome back to Magic Isn't Real, the place where I try to replicate the claims of the supernatural with my very natural skills. You you should know this if you follow this channel. And if you follow this channel, you're probably wondering what's going on. Didn't I just announce that Magic Isn't Real was canceled? Didn't I just announce that this channel was no more because I didn't get to the right numbers? The one year of making videos trying to replicate the claims of the supernatural? Yes, yes, I, I kind of did. But then this morning, I wake up and you know, I still get notification for this channel. I didn't delete the channel. I like the video that I make. So I want people to keep on watching them. I want to eventually get to those numbers so that I can bring back Magic Isn't Real and, and do more content. I'm actually trying to work on a way to better my content, to better market my content and to maybe bring you more interesting videos. I still love performing magic a lot. But what I wasn't prepared to see this morning when I woke up and I looked at my notification on YouTube and I saw this. What the hell is this? I no, I am not a believer now. Okay, let's back it up. Let's back it up a little bit. Let's put things in content really quick. I don't want this video to be too long. I just want to get straight to the point. So this is a post from a channel called Mad Cat Sphere. Now I have interacted with this channel before. Like he made a video about me where he kind of misrepresented what I was trying to do with this channel. So I just made a video response explaining what it is that I'm doing. As simple as that. He says he created this method of practice telekinesis that he calls the Nelson method, which is basically this. Like you put it, you grab a styrofoam cup, uh, you put it on, um, floating on some water that you put on a pan and the water needs to be a little bit warm and then you put your hands next to it and uh, the cup will follow your hands. He he has even done this with, I think it's a neighbor of, of his to prove that anybody can do it. So I posted a video to showcase that this is not, this is not a good way to practice and or even test if telekinesis is real because guess what? The styrofoam cup will move. It will follow your hand. It will move no matter what. Now, I'm not entirely sure why the styrofoam cup like follows your hand. I think it's it's a matter of like air temperature or it could be a matter of static electricity since it's a styrofoam cup. So I've posted a long video, one of my Magic Isn't Real videos talking about this method specifically, but I also post a little short to kind of demonstrate how this is not a good method, you know, to prove telekinesis. And this is the video that I have posted. Watch it and listen carefully to what I'm saying in the video. So what you're seeing right now, it's apparently a way to test if you have any telekinetic ability. By simply warming some water in a pan, grab a styrofoam cup and make the cup go according to the movement of your hand. Except I can guarantee you right now that I don't have any telekinetic ability and this would happen with anybody. This is not a good test. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not sure why the cup is following my hand, but it just does. It just happens. This is not a good test. No. I did test. Apparently, Mad Cat Sphere saw this little short like yesterday, probably, even though I posted it like 11 months ago. But hey, that's fine. That's YouTube algorithm. I, I'm not mad at that. What I'm mad at is that he saw that video yesterday. He decided to share it on his community page and he decided to say this. Here is a previous daughter of psychokinesis. Now very much still a doubter of psychokinesis. Very, very much still a doubter of psychokinesis. His channel name is Magic Isn't Real and he's practicing the Nelson method for hydrokinetic and telekinesis close-up training. The Nelson method is something I created a few years. Um, I don't think you created it. I think it's a science experiment that people do in elementary school, but sure, whatever makes you feel really good when you go to sleep at night. And I recommend people to give it a try. It's fun and you can do this six feet away over time. Have video clips of me doing it that are on my channel. He's a believer now. Thumbs up. Okay, mm, before we get to the main issue here, uh, let me just say something. I also have a video of me doing it six feet away. That proves absolutely nothing because once again, for the million time, the styrofoam cup will move. It just moves. But let's get to the main core of this. No, I'm not a believer now. What possessed you, since you believe in demonic possession, what possessed you to think that I am a believer now? 
did you just check the, the thumbnail and the title and you're like, oh, look, he's a believer now. I'm actually glad that this happened because I did stop this channel for the moment because I haven't got to the right numbers that I wanted to get at. You know, I didn't get the right amount of subscribers, the right amount of views. After one year of, of producing this content, I decided that, you know, it was time to put it a stop because it's clearly not working. But there's also another very important factor. For a whole year, I have been dealing with people like you in the comments and it is exhausting. I've been trying to be nice. When I created this project, I was like, I'm not gonna be one of those debunker who just insults or just, I don't even wanna be a debunker. I always say that I'm trying to investigate the claims of the supernatural, that I'm trying to show you that some of them can be done naturally, so we should be suspicious of it. I try to give everybody the benefit of the doubt and I try to be nice. But at the same time, oh my God, you guys don't listen. Oh, even worse, you just wanna listen to whatever it is that you like. You don't understand simple fallacies. You don't understand simple simple concept you didn't even understand what it is that i'm trying to do when i replicate your claims with with my magician skills you don't understand why it's dangerous for people to potentially waste their life practicing disability if disability is not real you admit that there are fakers out there but you don't want to call them out because you have to keep your shield of toxic positivity around and it's honestly exhausting when you bring an argument and I respond, you don't continue the argument. You move to the next step of your flipping script that you have in your brain. Yeah, I'm actually glad that you did this, Macasphere, because it's a reminder of, of how I really have to rethink this whole channel and I really have to rethink the way I'm dealing with people like you because I feel like maybe being nice is not the way to go. You know, maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comment section. I'm sure he's gonna remove the post after what I just said, or maybe not, because again, they don't listen. Usually, I check if you watch the, you know, if you watch the video in its entirety and ask you to comment something, like a word or something in the comment section, but the channel is actually very close to a thousand subscribers. So I was thinking if I get to a thousand subscribers in the next, let's say, couple of weeks, I was thinking of doing a live show, like a live streaming. So all of you with this weird arguments and stupid question, or all of you actually like me and wanna have a conversation, we can do that in a live stream. And that I think that could be fun and it could be something different that I've never done on this channel before. So yeah, let me know if you're interested in that. And if you're interested in that, make me get to a thousand subscriber as quickly as possible. Thank you for listening and uh, Matt Casphere, my God, just like watch the video. Uh, at least a couple of times and listen. <sighs> bye bye.